Uh, welcome everyone, great to have you all here. Uh, our CRN program is in exercise medicine. I'll lead you off with a fairly famous quote, there is no intervention which has more promise than physical exercise to reduce the incidence of all chronic diseases simultaneously. Uh, that's getting pretty old now, that was back in the, uh, back in the 90s, uh, that quote, and now we have literally tens of thousands of very well controlled research studies uh, showing more and more that that is a, in fact a very strong premise. So this uh, CRN program is very much about the applications of exercise medicine for the prevention of illness and injury and also the management of illness, in particular chronic disease. That's where we're focused. 80% of our costs uh, for health care, which have just shot past 10% of our gross domestic product in Australia, but 80% of those costs are due to diseases we don't have to have. They're diseases of lifestyle and one of the main factors around that is in fact low levels of physical inactivity. So we're about addressing uh, those aspects with exercise. And when you know, when it's just when you get started, your iPad goes into sleep mode. <laughs> just talk amongst yourselves, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then it's upside down. Great. I had, to I had to quickly think up an analogy. We had a pearl analogy and I went, gee, I've got to come up with a good analogy. <laughs> Our team is like a, a lone wolf. John would probably describe it more as a mangy dog. <laughs> but the reason why is we've been relatively successful in publication and research grants um, within our research group. And we have, uh, last year, for example, we were successful in, in winning about $2.5 million in externally competitive grant funds, including a number of Category 1 nationally competitive grant funds. But what we've have realised is that running around as a mangy dog or a lone wolf is whilst you do get some scraps and you do get to eat, quite often you get savaged by the big packs. And that's why this CRN is so important for us, is that our focus is on reaching out to partners, some really big wolves uh, that want to um, play with us and want to go on the hunt. Because if we're to compete at the national level with the, uh, the particularly the larger research groups over east, then we have to team up with some really powerful partners. And that's what we've done. Uh, we've joined with probably one of the leading exercise uh, geriatricians in the country, Maria Fiatarone Singh, who's a professor at the uh, University of Sydney, and uh, Professor uh, Jeff Coombs, uh, who is at the University of Queensland. So we've joined up with two very, very powerful, very influential universities on the East Coast so that we can run around in a pack and go hard after the, after the, big, after the big prey, and that's uh, NHNMRC, ARC. We also have a strong strategy to attract international funds, and uh, we've uh, appointed our, our research development officer, um, Regis, there, so Regis. Very, very important because that provides the uh, administrative support. Regis is out there. He's like the little, the little wolf <laughs> <laughs> racing around and uh, getting in with the various groups and looking for where there's places to feed. And he's very, very good at looking for opportunities and that's, that's uh, very, very important for us so that uh, we can apply for these opportunities. And he is looking overseas at some of the big granting opportunities, such as the European Union, the NIH um, in the States, and uh, a whole range of other corporate money, which is difficult to find out about. You've really got to sniff it out. How am I going with my analogy, Donna? Going good? <laughs> um, but there's some great opportunities for us. And we have been quite successful this year, particularly with uh, some of the pharmaceutical companies, in particular Abbott, Australasia, um, where they've uh, they fund us for one project and they're just about to announce this week uh, the funding for a second. So that's been important. So that's an important strategy. Uh, we have appointed a postdoctoral uh, research fellow, which we're very pleased about. Uh, we're still searching for some PhD students. We have one who's quite interested and we hope has applied and we're hoping to, that they will um, start in, uh, uh, in January uh, this year. Uh, we've got several research grants uh, out which are under consideration currently. We're spending a lot of time actually putting the glue together in the network and, and making the friendships because research uh, collaborations, uh, it's harder than marriage. I mean, a marriage you can always get out of it. Um, <laughs> but research collaborations are a lot harder to extract yourself because there's money involved and there's a whole range of things, you know. And you can't have a prenup uh, with, a, with a research uh, partnership. So it's very much about forming those friendships and trust and, and building that, and I think we're really achieving that. 
We're certainly looking overseas in terms of our partners. We've, uh, in May, I went and visited with the um, German Sports University in, in Cologne and uh, we're developing a very strong partnership around exercise and cancer. They've got a very strong group there. And uh, my colleague, uh, Associate Professor Daniel Gavau, uh, will be there next week to continue that partnership and continue to grow it. They provide um, some very, very novel assessments of blood markers that we're unable to do here. Uh, and uh, so that'll be a, a very powerful collaboration. Uh, the other partnerships which we're looking at developing are in the United States with some of our um, people with similar interests over there. In particular, we brought out uh, uh, Professor Rowan Siegel, and she's probably one of the leading people in terms of prostate cancer. She's a medical oncologist based in Canada, and we, as part of our visiting fellowship program, which is a large part of our budget expenditure, is to bring leading people to ECU and, and to our partner organisations to develop those relationships. And we brought her out and uh, subsequent to that we're now negotiating around developing some proposals with her. We also brought um, uh, Professor Katie Smiths out a month or so ago and she travelled around and, and met with our partners as well. She's probably the leader in research around lymphedema, uh, secondary to breast cancer and the influence of exercise. And next year, uh, we have uh, one of the leading guys in the world, Professor Kao Hakkinen, and he'll be coming out from Finland, and he'll be staying with us for a couple of months. And we funded his, his trip here. Prolific research, over 300 um, journal publications to his, uh, to his career. So it's all very exciting. Um, ours is definitely about forming those relationships outside, growing the pack so that we can be running around as part of a big pack that gets on well, doesn't fight amongst itself, but is very competitive in the international and national market. So thanks very much for your time.